The Enchanted Forest Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the edge of a dense forest, lived a curious young girl named Lily. The village was surrounded by vast fields and rolling hills, but the heart of excitement for the villagers was the mysterious forest that lay beyond. It was known as the Enchanted Forest, and tales of magical creatures and hidden treasures had been passed down through generations. Lily, being an adventurous soul, couldn't resist the allure of the enchanted forest. One bright and sunny morning, she decided to embark on a journey into the heart of the woods. Armed with nothing but her wits and a small backpack filled with snacks, she set out on the winding path that led into the unknown. As Lily ventured deeper, the air seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly energy. The trees stood tall and proud, their leaves forming a lush canopy overhead. Sunlight filtered through, casting a warm glow on the mossy ground. The chirping of birds and the rustling of leaves created a soothing symphony that echoed through the enchanted realm. As she walked, Lily noticed peculiar flowers with petals that glowed in various colors. Mesmerized, she bent down to get a closer look. To her surprise, the flowers responded to her touch, releasing a burst of sparkling pollen that danced in the air. Lily couldn't help but giggle with delight feeling as if the forest itself welcomed her. her. Further along the path, she encountered a talking squirrel named Nutty. With a twinkle in its eyes, Nutty shared tales of the enchanted forest, stories of wise old trees that whispered ancient secrets, mischievous fairies that played pranks on unsuspecting travelers, and a magical pond that reflected one's deepest desires. Intrigued by Nutty's stories, Lily continued her journey, guided by the playful creature. They reached the magical pond, its surface smooth as glass. Lily gazed into the water and saw her reflection shimmering with an ethereal light. As she made a silent wish, the pond responded by casting ripples that carried her hopes and dreams into the heart of the forest. The duel moved on, encountering a wise old owl perched on a majestic branch. The owl, with its wise eyes, shared a riddle that held the key to unlocking the hidden treasures of the enchanted forest. Lily, determined and clever, solved the riddle with a triumphant smile. In return, the owl bestowed upon her a golden key that glittered in the soft light filtering through the trees. With the golden key in hand, Lily and Nutty ventured to the heart of the forest, where an ancient tree with silver bark stood tall. The key glided effortlessly into the tree's trunk, unlocking a hidden passage that led to a secret clearing. There, a majestic waterfall cascaded into a crystal-clear pool. To Lily's astonishment, the pool shimmered with countless jewels and treasures. It was a sight to behold, a magical treasure trove hidden away from the eyes of the world. The enchanted creatures of the forest gathered, acknowledging Lily as the guardian of their secret haven. Over time, Lily be became the forest's protector, ensuring its safety from those who sought to exploit its magic. The wise old owl, mischievous fairies, and even Nutty, the talking squirrel, all played their part in safeguarding the enchanted forest. Lily's once small village now prospered, as the mystical energy of the forest brought prosperity and joy to its inhabitants. The tale of Lily in the enchanted forest became a legend, passed down through the generations. Visitors from far and wide came to marvel at the magic that thrived within the woods. Lily, though she had grown older, remained the guardian of the enchanted realm ensuring its secrets were preserved for the good of all. And so, the enchanted forest continued to thrive, a haven of magic and wonder that brought joy to those who dared to explore its depths. And in the heart of it all, Lily, the curious girl from the small village, stood as the eternal guardian, her spirit forever entwined with the magic of the enchanted forest. Title, The Rainbow Kite In a quaint little town nestled between rolling hills and meadows, there lived a young boy named Jake. He was known for his vibrant imagination and his love for adventure. One sunny afternoon, as fluffy clouds sailed across the sky, Jake's eyes lit up with excitement when he saw a colorful kite soaring high above the neighboring field. The kite, a magnificent rainbow of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, danced gracefully in the breeze. Jake couldn't take his eyes off it, and a seed of curiosity sprouted within him. Determined to experience the joy of flying a kite himself, he decided to build one. With the help of his grandfather, a wise old man with a twinkle in his eye, Jake gathered materials for his kite-making adventure. Together, they cut and taped colorful sheets of paper, carefully attaching wooden sticks to form the frame. Grandpa shared stories of his own kite-flying escapade.
escapades, filling Jake's heart with anticipation. After a day of hard work and laughter, Jake stood in his backyard, holding his creation, a beautiful rainbow kite. The sun dipped low on the horizon, casting a warm glow over the town as the evening approached. The breeze whispered through the trees, beckoning Jake to release his kite into the sky. With a deep breath, Jake let the rainbow kite soar. It danced and twirled, catching the wind with each flick of his wrist. Laughter bubbled up from within him as he experienced the thrill of guiding the kite through the open sky. The vibrant colors painted a masterpiece against the canvas of the fading daylight. As Jake reveled in the joy of his newfound hobby, a group of neighborhood children gathered to watch the spectacle. They were captivated by the beauty of the rainbow kite, and soon, Jake's backyard became a haven for laughter and camaraderie. The children took turns holding the string, their faces lit up with delight as they controlled the dancing colors in the sky. Days turned into weeks, and Jake's rainbow kite became a symbol of unity in the small town. Families came together in the evenings to enjoy the simple pleasure of watching the colorful spectacle above. The once quiet town now echoed with laughter and the rustle of kites soaring through the air. One day, as Jake and his friends were flying their kites, they noticed a lonely boy sitting on a bench near the field. His name was Tim, and he had recently moved to town. Shy and unsure, Tim watched the colorful display with a wistful look in his eyes. Jake, recognizing a kindred spirit, approached Tim with a warm smile. Hey, want to join us? He asked, holding out the rainbow kite string. Tim hesitated for a moment before accepting the offer. With Jake's guidance, he felt the thrill of the wind against his face as the kite da danced above. From that day forward, Tim became a regular member of the kite flying crew. The once lonely boy blossomed into a joyful friend, his laughter blending seamlessly with the others. The rainbow kite, now a symbol of friendship and inclusion, soared high above the town, carrying with it the dreams and connections of its young aviators. As the years passed, the children grew into young adults, and their lives took them on different paths. Yet, the memories of the rainbow kite and the bonds formed beneath its colorful wings remained etched in their hearts. Jake, now a young man, stood in his backyard one last time, holding the rainbow kite that had brought so much joy to his town. He looked at the vibrant colors and smiled, grateful for the friendships and memories that had flourished like the kite in the open sky. In the quiet moments of reflection, Jake realized that life, much like flying a kite, is about finding joy in simple pleasures, connecting with others, and embracing the beauty that surrounds us. The rainbow kite, though made of paper and wood, had woven a tapestry of happiness that stretched across the town, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of all who had experienced its magic. Title, The Wishing Well In the heart of a small village, surrounded by rolling hills and fields of golden wheat, there stood a mysterious well. It was said that the well had magical powers, and anyone who made a wish upon its waters would see their dreams come true. The villagers, both young and old, believed in the well's enchantment, and tales of its wonders had been passed down through generations. Amelia, a curious girl with a heart full of dreams, had heard stories about the well since she was a little girl. On her twelfth birthday, she decided it was time to test the well's magic for herself. With a handful of coins clutched tightly in her hand, she set off towards the village square where the well stood, its stone walls weathered by, by time. As she approached the well, Amelia noticed its water was crystal clear, reflecting the blue sky above. A delicate chain dangled from a rusted bucket, inviting anyone brave enough to make a wish. The village square was quiet, and a gentle breeze rustled the leaves of the nearby trees. With a mix of excitement and apprehension, Amelia closed her eyes, clasped the coins in her hand, and made a wish. She whispered her deepest desire to the well, the words carrying a sense of longing and hope. When she opened her eyes, a sense of wonder filled her heart as she stared into the depths of the well. Days turned into weeks, and as the village went about its routines, Amelia couldn't shake the feeling that something extraordinary was about to happen. One sunny afternoon, as she played near the well with her friends, a peculiar sight caught her eye. A shimmering light rose from the well's depths, dancing in the air like fireflies at dusk. In awe, the children gathered around the well, their eyes wide with amazement. As the sparkling lights swirled and twirled, they formed intricate shapes and patterns in the sky. The village square transformed into a magical spectacle, and the air buzzed with an enchanting energy. 
As the light settled, a gentle voice echoed through the square. It was the spirit of the well, a benevolent entity that had been awakened by Amelia's sincere wish. The spirit explained that it had been dormant for years, waiting for a pure-hearted soul to invoke its magic. Grateful for Amelia's wish, the well spirit offered to grant a single wish for each child present. The village children, their eyes shining with excitement, took turns making wishes that ranged from simple desires to heartfelt dreams. The well spirit, true to its promise, fulfilled each wish with a sprinkle of magic that left the children in awe. Amelia, still mesmerized by the enchantment, approached the well spirit with a thoughtful expression. She wished not for herself but for the well to continue spreading joy to the villagers for generations to come. Touched by the selfless request, the well spirit granted her wish, leaving a lasting aura of goodwill around the well. News of the well's magical revival spread throughout the village like wildfire. Families and friends gathered at the square, eager to make their wishes and witness the wonders that unfolded. The well became a hub of joy, a place where dreams took flight, and the air was filled with laughter and gratitude. Over the years, the well continued to be a source of inspiration for the villagers. Generations came and went, each leaving behind a legacy of dreams fulfilled by the well's magic. The village prospered, and the one small square transformed into a bustling hub of celebration and community. Amelia, now a wise elder, stood by the well, watching as children laughed and played around its ancient stones. The well had become a symbol of unity and hope, a testament to the power of sincere wishes and the magic that resides within the hearts of those who believe. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the village square, Amelia closed her eyes and made one last wish, a wish for the well to continue spreading its magic for countless generations to come. And with that, the well spirit, forever grateful to the curious girl who had awakened it, ensured that the enchantment endured, weaving a tapestry of dreams that stretched far beyond the horizon. Title, The Blossoming Friendship in the heart of a peaceful town, surrounded by blooming flowers and chirping birds, lived two unlikely friends named Lily and Max Lily, a cheerful girl with a penchant for adventure, and Max, a shy and reserved boy with a love for books, found themselves seated next to each other in their third-grade classroom. The two friend friends couldn't have been more different. Lily's eyes sparkled with curiosity, and her laughter echoed through the halls like a melody. Max, on the other hand, often found solace in the world of stories, immersing himself in the pages of his favorite books. Despite their differences, a unique bond began to blossom between them. One sunny afternoon, as the school bell rang, signaling the end of another day of learning, Lily approached Max with a beaming smile. Hey Max, want to explore the hidden garden behind the school with me? She asked, her eyes twinkling with excitement. Max, usually reserved and hesitant to step out of his comfort zone, hesitated for a moment. Lily's enthusiasm, however, proved infectious, and with a nod, he agreed to join her on this unplanned adventure. The duo sneaked behind the school, pushing through a thicket of bushes until they stumbled upon a secret garden. The hidden garden, a burst of colors and fragrances, greeted them with open arms. Vibrant flowers adorned the landscape, and butterflies flitted from bloom to bloom. Lily twirled around, soaking in the beauty of nature, while Max observed with a quiet appreciation. In that serene garden, a friendship began to bloom, much like the flowers that surrounded them. Days turned into weeks, and Lily and Max's friendship deepened. They discovered shared interests and created their own world of adventures. Lily introduced Max to the joy of outdoor games, and Max, in turn, opened Lily's eyes to the wonders of storytelling. Their differences became the threads that wove the tapestry of their friendship. One cloudy afternoon, as Lily and Max sat beneath their favorite tree in the hidden garden, Lily shared a secret. You know, Max, I've always wanted to see a real-life rainbow. I heard they're magical, and if you make a wish on one, it might come true. Max, ever the storyteller, smiled and said, Well, Lily, legend has it that if you follow the path of a rainbow, you might discover a hid hidden treasure at its end. The idea of finding a hidden treasure sparked excitement in Lily's eyes. Without a second thought, the duo decided to embark on a quest to find a rainbow. They packed a small picnic, complete with sandwiches and fruit, and set off on their bicycles in search of the magical phenomenon. As they pedaled through the town, the sky darkened with rain clouds. 
Lily's infectious laughter echoed through the streets as raindrops began to fall. Unfazed by the rain, they continued their journey, chasing the elusive rainbow that seemed to dance just beyond their reach. Finally, as the sun broke through the clouds, a magnificent rainbow painted the sky in hues of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Lily and Max stood in awe, their faces lit up with wonder. They followed the rainbow to a nearby hill, where, to their surprise, a field of wildflowers awaited them. The duo spent the afternoon playing and laughing in the meadow, surrounded by the beauty of nature and the vibrant colors of the rainbow. As the day drew to a close, Lily closed her eyes and made a wish. Max, caught in the magic of the moment, followed suit. Little did they know that their wishes, carried by the wind and sealed with the enchantment of the rainbow, had set into motion a series of events that would forever change their lives.